Wednesday marked the final mass at St. Benedict's in Southwest Baltimore. After church tonight, the church part of this church facility is closing for good. Where's the good news? I, that's what I'm looking for. You see me looking. Yes, it will be sad. I'm sorry to hear that. This comes a little more than a month after the longtime pastor here was fired by Baltimore church officials after learning about misconduct allegations and a secret out of court settlement. Though church leaders say the community center, food pantry and other services will continue, neighbors tell 11 News it's a big loss. It's just a wonderful thing that, that we've got left here. So the way you describe it is that this church brings life energy and yes. peace to this yes. community. Yes, life, energy and peace. Yes, you're right. This church with no future happens to be less than three miles from this three day discussion on the future of the Catholic Church. We are grateful for your leadership. American leadership Catholic bishops holding their experience. annual fall meeting at a hotel in Harbor East with Archbishop William Laurie now on the dais in a leadership position District as church Columbia critics assembled Baltimore nearby Baltimore. working to have their message heard. Attack. Members have snapped today protesting the Baltimore church's bankruptcy filing and the D.C. diocese taking court action to have Maryland's new law removing the statute of limitations on sex abuse claims declared unconstitutional. Don't you care at all about us and why are you hiding behind bankruptcy and now you're saying our law is unconstitutional? We, of course, reached out to the Archdiocese of Baltimore for comment. We were told that the Archbishop wasn't available today and that there's nothing further to add about what's already been said about St. Benedict and Chapter 11. Reporting live from Harbor East tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.